my boy was supposed to be mad at me, uh, Tommy. And uh, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that uh, this internet thing make people do things uh, for attention, I guess. I don't know. Um, Tommy, I'm not going to beef with you. I've always given you the utmost respect. Um, uh, I, I've always shouted you out. When you text me and said, hey, man, you gave Kevin Samuels the credit for something that I say. I said, oh, shit. I said, you right. I said, my bad. I said, but you got to understand something. Uh, he's saying what you say, but that's who I'm hearing right now. So just automatically that was in my brain because he, he, he said it over and over again on the show that I've watched. So I explained that to you. And then we text and I told you, I said, look, if ever this come up again, make sure you hit me and give me the benefit of the doubt because you my dog. And every time I've gone live and I've said, make that make sense, I started shouting out both of y'all because I said y'all need to stop arguing and I'm not getting in between y'all beef. That's what I told you on the phone that you can't say or show on your text message. Uh, and even on the text message, you got mad that I used the word cook. Well, sir, I've been using the word mama cooking shit for two weeks. So I'm sorry you got offended because I text you you want to cook. But I've been saying the word for weeks. Uh, most of the celebrities, uh, Tommy, unfortunately for you, when they get hot or they get anything, name the celebrity that stay using your name. They usually unfollow you, delete you, and act like they never liked you. But I got four or five videos where I've said, shout out to my boy Tommy Sotomayor. But uh, it seems like, I guess, you want to stand on my shoulders kind of like Jack did. Um, because I couldn't watch the whole thing because I'm like, damn, this is my dog talking about me like that over a, a misunderstanding that I text you. Hey, man, if it ever come up again, make sure you talk to me first because it ain't like that. And you wouldn't even give me that benefit of the doubt. You sent me an angry text like we were breaking up or something. And I'm just like, I was at dinner with my family looking at it like, how the fuck do I respond to this? Like, I don't know what I owe you. Um, the first time we met is over a video I did when God bless the dead when I was mad about something with Kobe. It wasn't like we were pen pals, but I'm still not going to disrespect you, and I never disrespected you even in the text message. I went to sleep on Judge Joe Brown uh, after he was on my podcast, and he didn't go online and show a text message, which he could do. <laughs> he could show a text message and me sending him the same thing I sent you. Sorry, I fell asleep. And he didn't go online and start doxing me and saying things that's not true. And you said I come at every, I'm coming at black people or whatever else because of basketball. If you actually wasn't mad at me or whatever and really looked at it, I'm really not even talking about basketball. I wasn't talking period, I was talking about respect. I stay quiet for 20 years and you think I'm just gonna all of a sudden start crying whether somebody think I'm a bus or not? Even though I can show some analytics and some stats that can prove that that's not true either. I'm not understanding what I did wrong other than maybe a misunderstanding. And <laughs> you could have easily rescheduled. I'm a bus celebrity that respected you enough to give you my cell phone number. <laughs> so <laughs> you could have just hit me another time. And shout out to Star. Um, you know, a true elder, he, you know, he, he, Star gave me so much game on one conversation and I'm like, damn, man, listen, this is how you protect your YouTube. Go in there. He was basically walking me through the YouTube. Uh, man, go over here, go in the studio, doing this. He said, I know you're a little country bumpy and my daddy is too. That's how an elder is supposed to help a young cat that's lacking in certain areas. Not do what Dr. Boyce Watkins is doing. Not doing what you're doing, Tony. I only been on this thing for a week or two. I I've sh shouted your name out four or five times. I don't know what else you want from me. Um, like I said, most of the celebrities, and with the momentum I got going on right now, most people would say, hell no, because you come with a level of baggage. And I'm so independent that I didn't give a shit about the level of baggage because I know how to chew the, chew the meat and spit out the fat. I know that it's some things you say that's fucked up that I don't have to agree with. And there's some things you say when you're not arguing 
that are genuine and that you can take away from. I know how to do that. Other people might can't, but that's why I was rocking with you. And it's not that you you take credit for like everything somebody say. It's like, no, nah, when you from the hood and you from the struggle, we all gonna say similar things. We all went through similar situations. I've always given you the credit because you the first man who was had enough kohunas to say it on the internet. But now that I'm saying things on the internet, it's men that's walking up to me saying, man, thank you. You saying shit that I want to say. You saying shit that I say in the barbershop. Who am I to tell these niggas, no, you ain't. You got that for me. No, you're not. It's like, no, I don't got time for that. And so I'm going to show you the real purpose of me being on the internet. I'm going to show you the real reason why I think they ain't let you meet me about 20 years ago. Because shout out to the real foundation. Um, you know, I'm about to break. The real foundation is, uh, this is a sober house. I don't, I don't think she likes sober house. She likes to call it extended living. Um, it's for women, all women now that are uh, going through drug treatment and, and, and entering in these programs. A lot of these women can't find homes and if they're convicted felons, they can't even rent or buy homes because of that convicted felon on their record. Um, so this young lady, you can look her up. She was on TED Talk. Um, she's helping me do my program for mine down in Brunswick, Georgia. Um, so that's what I'm here for. I'm not